It's day two of the World Summit for the Information Society Forum and already there has been recognition for projects that are using ICTs to meet development goals. Yesterday was a day of glittering prizes, with 18 organisations and countries awarded WUSS's project prizes for outstanding effort and achievement. Taking stock of what's worked on the ground is an important element of using ICTs in innovative ways and making a difference. We have been offering um, technology intermediaries uh, uh, the possibility of gaining uh, skills and access to online facilities which would enable them to create content, to share content, to collaborate remotely, to, to speak remotely at cost zero. What we did in Kuwait is uh, to implement uh, an, a new system that's called e-employment. Uh, that's the system really uh, connect uh, the citizens or the people who want to work in the government with the different government agencies. One way that information and communication technology can really make a difference is in fostering innovation in business. But first you have to match up the right technology with performing the right role. It's why, apart from governments, apart from civil society, apart from international organisations, the WISIS Forum has placed such an emphasis on involving the private sector in the discussions here. We are providing the technology, but what's important uh, is the, you know, to meet with other stakeholders, ICT ministers, who have a vision of how they could use this technology to actually make a better impact. Many of our best programs have been done by the people that attend here. And it's critical when a program in one continent brings a healthcare program, an education program, programs to reach lower incomes, and another country is trying to do something similar but doesn't know what's worked and just as importantly what hasn't worked. And so it's that sharing of best practices that's absolutely critical. Other important strategic partners for the WISIS Forum are countries such as Mexico, Kuwait, Kazakhstan and the United Arab Emirates. All are lending their weight and expertise to the process. Today we've seen a number of high-level dialogues. These include input from specialist experts and also a chance for members of the audience to contribute. Subjects we're dealing with, smart monitoring of the weather, and this one, empowering women. You know, in, in Africa, some women found that using the mobile phone, uh, they can be more efficient in their NGOs. From that, you know, they, they have started using a mobile application. And I do think that, you know, uh, there is many, many things to do in that, uh, in that area. It is true that issues, for example, stereotypes or the fact that girls don't have much access to ICTs, especially in developed countries, um, I think it's a real issue and people don't really tend to see it. Tomorrow, former UN Secretary General Kofi Annan will be dropping in on the WISIS Forum and we'll be taking a closer look at how remote participants are following what's going on here in Geneva. <laughs>